Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to this Monday morning's maths lesson with me, Mr Long. And we are still looking at algebra, and today we are looking at a thing called substitution. So let's start with some total recall. Um, this is the sort of work you did last week, um, where we write expressions for the following. In other words, simplify these number sentences below. A plus A plus A, what should that be written as? Can you remember? 2 times F take away 5, how would we write that? 2 times F, take away 5. And 3, E plus E plus E plus E, take away 7, how would we write that? Pause now, and I'll give you the answers in a second. Okay, here are the answers. So, A plus A plus A is 3A. 2 times F is 2F, so 2 times F take away 5 is 2F take away 5. And then E plus E plus E plus E take away 7 is 4E take away 7. So today we're looking at substitution. You can write this down in your book if you pause now. There's today's date. In short, algebra, substitution and write the wealth. Um, some of you I know have not been writing the wealth and it just makes marking and checking uh, difficult for your teachers. So if you could do that, that would be really helpful. Thank you. So we're still making links and we still need resilience. As I say, today we're doing algebra. We still need to remember that when we talk about the values, we're talking about the numbers. And then uh, we're going to look at what substitution means in a moment. OK, so in English vocabulary, where have you heard the word substitution before? Or a substitute? Pause now and have a think. So, here's the first obvious one, perhaps. In sport, you can substitute one player for another. Kind of means swap one player for another, doesn't it? And in cooking, you could substitute one ingredient for another. And a recipe might say, for a healthier option, substitute half the butter for grated carrot. So, that would be a substitute or a substitution. In algebra, we can substitute values for letters or symbols. Do you remember last week when we said that A plus A plus A plus 1 is expressed as 3A plus 1 and not 4A? Because we don't know the value of a. It could be it's 3a means 3 apples plus 1 banana. It could be any other value. So today we're going to give those letters or symbols a value and this is called substitution. Let's have a look at this. I bet you can do this first one. If it's a circle equals 2 and a triangle equals 5, what is a circle plus a triangle? Pause now and tell me the answer. OK, that's right. A circle equals 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 equals 7. Simple as that. I'm sure you all got that. Let's have a look at this question down here. Just come off a minute. This is one we'll do together. So 2 circle plus 3 triangle equals what? OK, well, I'm going to write on the board here rather than using my uh, visualizer today. So we have 2 times circle. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 lots of triangle. 3 lots of 5 or 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So our answer is 4 plus 15 is that's right, 19. And that's basically what we're doing today. We're substituting um, symbols, shapes, and letters for numbers, and then doing the calculation. So remember, when any number is right next to a shape or a symbol or a letter, the missing operation is always multiply. It's always lots of. OK, for example, three flowers. 3 squares, 5F, just means 3 lots of flowers, 3 lots of squares, 
three lots of F or three times flowers, three times box, three times F. Let's have a look at some more then. So if flower equals seven and a square equals 10, what is four square take away two flowers? Pause now and have a go at that question. Okay, here's your answer. So, 4 squared is 4 times 10, and 2 flowers is 2 times 7. So it's 40 subtract 14, which is 26. Did you get that? I hope so. So when we use a letter, it can look more complicated, but the rules are exactly the same. So um, you might see there, question 1, 2A plus G. That looks like really complicated maths, doesn't it? But try these anyway. A equals 4 and G equals 5. So I want 2 lots of A plus G and 5 lots of A take away 3 lots of G. Pause now and have a go at these questions. Remember, A is 4, G equals 5. OK, are we ready for some answers? So looking at question 1, 2A plus G. Well, 2A means 2 times 4. G is 5, so 2 times 4 plus 5. So 8 plus 5 equals 13. And question 2, 2A take away 3G. Well, that means, sorry, 5A take away 3G. That means 5 times 4 take away 3 times 5. So 20 take away 15 is 5. Once again, I hope you got that. Well, that's as, really as complicated as it gets today. Remember, if your questions have brackets in them, just like with BODMAS, you do the brackets first. OK, always do the brackets first. And I think it always helps to show your calculations. So rather than doing it in your head, I think it helps if you do it and show your work in. Some of you may be able to do it in your head, but it's always difficult then if you get the answer wrong to work out where you went wrong. OK, so now it's time for you to go to your tasks. Just go to the links page, scroll down and there's bronze, silver, gold and challenge. Don't forget, if you find this easy, move straight on to the next one. If bronze is easy, complete bronze if you like, and then move on to silver. Silver onto gold, gold onto challenge. Today's uh, lesson, as always, should take an hour. Now, this video of mine hasn't even taken eight minutes yet, so you've got lots of time to go from bronze to silver or silver to gold or gold to challenge. Have a great morning. Enjoy your maths, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.